Thanks for joining us here on the Montana Television Network for this Community Connection Spotlight. This morning, we welcome Mark Broller with Healthy Lives Vibrant Futures into the MTN studio. Thanks so much for taking time today. Well, thanks for having me today. All right, and I want to say a nice shirt too. That's oh, pretty sharp there. Yeah. Thank you much. Pretty, can I say it's a vibrant shirt? Yes, you may. <laughs> All right, so you are here today to talk about an annual event that your nonprofit does that really um, aims to address the health concerns we have here in Cascade County. Yeah, not just one annual event. We have a lot of events, and you're going to see us around town wearing our lovely shirts <laughs> that show that we're a part of Healthy Lives, Vibrant Futures. So a yeah. little bit about our group. We are a group, or a coalition really, that is aimed at bettering the lives and health of our community. So we believe in a number of things, that everyone should have access to health care. Mm. We believe that substance abuse negatively affects everyone in our community. We believe that all children should be safe in our community. And we believe that a community that focuses on health is going to prosper. But most importantly, we, we believe that working together, we can accomplish way more than what we can do individually. And when I say we, we I mean organizations that okay. contribute people like me mm -hmm. to our group. So fantastic organizations in our community like Alluvian Health, Benefice, Center for Mental Health, wow. Opportunities Inc., AWARE. I could go on and on. Yeah. So we come together and we form these work groups out of those beliefs that I mentioned earlier. So one of those being um, healthy weight. You may hear Get Fit Great Falls. This is another mm -hmm. um, name for that healthy weight. And their objective is to increase the number of people maintaining and achieving healthy weight mm -hmm. in our community. There's also a group that focuses on substance misuse and prevention. Wow. So decrease the amount of youth and young adults that mm -hmm. may have used tobacco or alcohol right. or other illicit drugs. There's also a group that focuses on reducing child abuse and neglect in our community. But I'm here to talk about my group and that is access to health. So we wanna increase people's access to medical care, mm -hmm. dental care, and behavioral health services in our community. Okay, those And we three, do, do that a number three, of ways. Yeah. yeah, those are the three main things. So our group gets together and we talk about what each other's doing, we share best practices, and we ensure that we get in the community and represent ourselves by wearing these shirts and talking to patients about access to, for example, mm -hmm. medical care. Right. A big barrier to care is insurance, so, mm -hmm. Um, making sure that patients know what is out there for them insurance-wise if they're eligible, mm -hmm. what kind of financial assistance programs may be available for them. Okay. A lot of our organizations make sure that your ability to pay does not impact your ability to access medical care okay. or Very dental neat. care or behavioral um, health, for example. Sounds like it covers a wide range of, of health needs, uh, really every every angle yes um, as far as what people um, you know as far as what people can look forward to uh, what your group is about where can they learn more and when can they learn more well we're currently working on a Facebook page I can't leave any trail of breadcrumbs to find a lot more information so stay yeah. tuned I guess I can say we'll find you come to the community events anything health related our group is going to be there in present wearing these shirts talking to our community members about financial assistance, about getting enrolled in insurance, about where you can access great dental mm -hmm. care, and yeah. really trying to also reduce stigma around behavioral health, integrating in our medical clinics, and doing group therapy, for example, and getting the word out to our providers and community that these things are available and we'd love to help you out. All right, great. And unfortunately, that's all the time we have for this Community Connection. But you can find all that information on our websites, KRTV and KXLH.com.